Excellencies, good morning. I am Jabul Ndebele, Chairman of the Board of the Nelson Mandela Foundation. I send you greetings from the Nelson Mandela Foundation in Johannesburg, South Africa. I wish I was there with you in person, but I'm grateful to be able to send you a message. The Foundation's Board of Trustees welcomes and supports the initiative to develop the United Nations standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners. We believe it to be entirely appropriate that these rules be named after our founder, Nelson Kholishasha Mandela. It is common knowledge that he was amongst the longest serving political prisoners of the 20th century. 27 and a half years of incarceration on Robben Island and in other apartheid era prisons from 1962 to 1990. What is less known is that before this long period as a prisoner, he spent many shorter stints in police station cells and prison cells as the apartheid security forces harassed him and his comrades through the 1950s. Conditions in apartheid prisons were harsh. As Mr. Mandela stated when reflecting on this question, we were subject to harsh if brutal treatment and permanent physical and spiritual harm was caused to many prisoners. Throughout his incarceration, as he recalls in his great book, A Long Walk to Freedom, he led campaigns to improve prison conditions. Indeed, it could be argued that for the first two decades of that period, this was the primary instrument of struggle for his generation of political prisoners. Significant is that he acknowledged the role played by international bodies in supporting this struggle. For instance, he said the following of the International Committee of the Red Cross and the leverage it afforded behind prisoner demands. We owe a great deal to the Red Cross. There was tremendous pressure on the prison authorities and they conceded quite a number of these demands. Nelson, the Nelson Mandela Foundation wishes the United Nations every success with this initiative. We hope that the Nelson Mandela rules will become an effective instrument in protecting the rights of prisoners around the world. Prison conditions are both a critical measure of democracy and an important instrument for democratization. As Mr. Mandela said in 1994, at the dawn of democracy in South Africa, a nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens, but its lowest ones, its imprisoned citizens. We look forward to receiving a copy of the approved rules for an archival record to be stored at the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory at the Nelson Mandela Foundation. I thank you.